Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys, VIPER here, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today, EA dropped Comrade Lena, a right back in the Bundesliga, which we really did need, as there isn't too many fullbacks that are good in the Bundesliga so it's gonna be interesting to review this card just based off that alone as you can see here he's got 88 pace 70 shooting 80 passing 84 dribbling 82 defending and 90 physical he's going to cost you an 85 84 sorry rated squad with an inform and an 83 rated squad with an inform also chemistry requirements are quite high on this one but as I said right backs and left backs in the Bundesliga are very few and far between you've got Alfonso Davies you've got Guerrero and you've got that Gunter card, but I imagine not a lot of you took him. Alfonso Davies is obviously brilliant, and that Guerrero looks really good on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I believe all you have is Fringpong, the guy from the Future Stars uh, token promo, and in Babu as well. Um, but Fringpong, I imagine not a lot of you have got as well. And there's a few things with this laner card that are very interesting on the base card stats, which have got me very, very intrigued. Um... Obviously, what we're going to be looking at here, is he one of the best right-backs in the game? Is he the best right-back in the Bundesliga? Is he the best full-back in the Bundesliga? They're the key things we're going to be looking at here. Um, it's going to be hard to review him in the way that I want to. You know, with right-backs and left-backs, it's very important to do like a full live game, I feel like. Um, so you can really, really feel them out and see how good they are. So, Lena is five foot nine, high, high work rates, five-star skills with a three-star weak foot. We've already gone over his base card stats. Let's have a look, see if he's got any traits. So he's got early crosser, and that is not bad if you use him as an attacking fullback. I'm going to actually use him as an attacking fullback also. It's the way I play it. I do really like to get my fullbacks involved. But even defensively, you know, you're going to be able to see if he's good or not there too. Let's look at the in-game though. So he's got 90 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. He's got 73 attack positioning with 66 finishing, which isn't bad. 81 shot power, 72 long shots. His vision is very low at 73. His crossing is good at 90. Short pass and long pass is good, 87 and 80 respectively. Then his dribbling stats are 86 agility, 88 balance, 87 reactions, 82 ball control, 85 dribbling, 85 composure. Then his defensive stats are 82 interceptions with 71 head and accuracy, 83 defensive awareness, 85 stand tackle, and 82 slide tackle. As we move into the physicals, this is probably where he becomes really, really good. I'll explain why afterwards. 84 jump in. 97 stamina, we're going to talk on that in a moment, 85 strength and 97 aggression. Now with that stamina, and the way I personally like to play this game, I don't know if you guys play the game similar, fullbacks are the most important position on the pitch. Uh, when you're playing the full one 2 one 2 narrow, it's very important that you allow them to go forward, but they can also come back and defend. And a lot of the time, when you're using certain fullbacks, they don't have the stamina to go for 90 minutes. Having that 97 stamina is paramount success in the style of FIFA that I play. If you want to go look at the custom tactics, they're on my channel, they're the last four one two one two narrow ones. I've updated them just a little bit, but we'll get into that at another time. Hardly updated them, but it's, there is a little update in there. This is an interesting card. Um, I'm not too sure what chemistry style to put on him. He needs a pace upgrade, that's for damn sure. And I feel like I need to do something to his passing. Um, his defensive stats are okay, especially with that strength and aggression. That's really, really nice. And strength is really important on fullbacks if you can get it as it is just really helpful against, you know, the the players who kind of try to go out wide and utilise the lack of strength that you usually do have on fullbacks. Um, so you put Ronaldo up against Gold Hakimi. Hakimi's strength just isn't good enough to keep up with Ronaldo. But this card really is good in that regard. I think an engine would be good for him. I also think that that won't do enough to his passing. But, as I said, you really want to do something to his uh, pace as well. So, hmm. I mean, the, the obvious choice is a shadow. Um, but his passing just isn't good enough. So, you want to do something that does passing and defending, really. And pace. And I don't think there is anything that does that. So, what I would say, you could try a catalyst. I think a catalyst will be quite good on him. Let's, let's apply one. We've got 44 of them. Maxes out his pace, basically, and his passing goes up really well. But what you are going to see there is his vision doesn't get touched, so it's kind of pointless. Um, I personally think 
with the kind of card we've been dealt here, I think a shadow is probably the best. Um, gets that defending way up and maxes out his pace basically as well. He's up to 98 pace basically. He's up to 92 interceptions, 76 head accuracy, 88 defensive awareness, 95 stand tackle, and 97 slide tackle. So very nice upgrade there. As I said, you can try a catalyst, try an engine. You really do want something that boosts that vision though if you are going to use him in that regard that way. But obviously the five-star skills as well is going to be really nice. With that being said, guys, we're going to get into a game of division rivals. We're at a high skill rating right now, so let's get into that and see how we get on. All right, guys, into the game we go. Let's see what we're facing. Now, obviously, as I said, we're at a high skill rating, so it's going to be a really good test. This guy's got a sick team. Chiesa, Zidane. Actually, his back line's quite poor for this stage in the game. He's got Mainan and Goldo, and you know what that means. Um, but yeah, idea of today's video is just going to play one live game of him. I'll cut out the, the half-time bits or any parts that are a bit too long. But we're using a few different players here, too. We're using Bibu, Bibu. Um, and yeah, let's see how we got on with this laner card. Obviously, this kind of stuff, being able to do that down here quickly is really, really nice to have. And being able to do that kind of stuff, too, um, is kind of undervalued, you know? Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Whip it in, whip it in. That's a good ball, too. Oh, Lena with a great cross early on. Okay. Really, really nice cross, that. I don't know why Bibu's on the uh, the corners. Into Mbappe. It, oh, what the hell's happened there? Uh-oh. Who's chasing him here? This is Lena here. That's good pressure from him. He's done really well, though. That's a really nice goal. Okay, we're well, 1-0 down. We should have probably scored straight away, which is unfortunate. Um, but, yeah, good goal from him now. I can't complain about that. So we keep on going here with Lena. It was really nice dribbling-wise. You've got the ball roll scoops you can do with him too. He's got unlucky there not to keep the ball, to be honest. He's getting a lot of space down here because Lena's going forward. What I might do is, for the, uh, the first half, I'll play him like advancing. And in the second half, I'll play him defensively. Obviously, this guy's a good player, so... Run in, Kamada. Good pass. Back into him. Into Mbappe. Mbappe. We're actually going to go into Lena there. Lena. It's a good ball in. It's oh, His crossing's really good, to be fair. I was probably too close to the keeper, really, to um, to get the opportunity there. Who's that defending that? Nice. Right, here's Lena again. Now, being able to just do that with your fullbacks, whilst it seems pointless, is really nice to have. Um, that's a lovely pass from Sal. Jorginho into Mbappe. Mbappe's missed it. Ah, oh, I'm really, really starting to lose interest in Mbappe, guys. He's been awful for me for a while now. Nice. Into Lena again. We're going to do a ball roll scoop here. He did read that, but real, real nice play. Bibu. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, what a block. He's got it back. Into Kamada. Wow, this guy's defending unbelievably, to be fair to him. Wow, he's done really, really well there. I've absolutely dominated the game, though, so far. Oh, he's through again, though. Oh, he's offside. Nice. Okay, good offside trap there. He's got a really nice sprint boost on him, as you can see there. Kamada again. Nice play. Yeah, good football. Real nice football, actually. Into Lena. Oh, yes. Oh, what a save. That's my nan. He's, she's too good. My nan's too good in net. I can't believe it. Lena's had a brilliant, brilliant start to this game too. How unfortunate that we're not winning. Go on, win that. Oof. He jumped well, but that was about it. Gotta be careful here. This guy loves a through ball. Well in Maldini. Absolutely all over this guy now. Here's Georgie. We're going to try and wait for Lena there. We can even bait that out. Nice. He's making some great runs, to be fair to him. Jude's there. Jude. Oh, my nan again. My nan again. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely pummeling this guy. I just can't get a goal. Georgie. I keep on yellowing stuff as well. This guy is genuinely getting away with murder, though, guys. This is a... This is a very, very annoying game of FIFA so far. Because, uh, you know, Lane has been involved and he's been really, really good. 
um, going forward. But defensively, because obviously I'm playing him really aggressively, it's leaving a bit of uh, exposure on that on, on that side, and that's how he got his goal, really. Nice from Tio. Is that our ball? No? Okay. It's just a shame when you dominate games like this and then you can just get hit on the break, you know, so easily. What's he doing? What on earth are you doing, pal? Wow, he's really playing quite boring now, isn't he? Nice, well in. Kamada. We're actually going to have to look for Lena here. We can wait for that run. He's made a great run there. Here he goes again. I'm going to whip it in again. It's a brilliant ball. Just can't get it on his on Bibu's head. Lena goes again. Wow, that's good defending. That's good second man press there. I thought I got to that too. That's unfortunate. I mean, he hasn't been, you know, he hasn't been that guy that's going to change your your your, your game. Wow, he scored again. That is so undeserved, guys. I honestly, honestly, I think we will get back into the game. Um, we're also going to have to, you know, just completely commit now. Really, really unfortunate to be losing this game two 0 He's taking his chances, don't I? I'm taking mine. I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's just a shame he's playing like a bit of a rat. Well done, Neuer. He's playing really, really slow, and it's really frustrating me. I guess that, that that's uh, good good from him, though, you know. So, a credit to this guy. Bappe, why have you stopped your run, man? You were on the shoulder, and then you just stopped. Nice. We are definitely getting back in this, though, guys. I promise you. There's one. My nan almost saved that as well, by the way. BB with the goal. It's crazy that you almost saved that. Um, this has been a, a very, very sweaty game, though. This guy's a decent player. Playing to exactly... He's playing, you know, like my kryptonite. You know, everything I don't like playing against, he's doing, so... Uh, we're still in this game, though. Just holding the ball so much and, you know, just, just playing like it's... It's like the Champions League final or the World Cup final, man, and it's uh, it's hard to play against. And I start overcommitting players, as you can see. So at half time, though, guys, I'll bring you back at the start of the second half. All right, guys. So second half underway now. We will get back into this game in this half. Um, I've absolutely dominated it. Uh, I've had four xG to his two. I just haven't been taking my chances, though. I guess so. That's the way it is, and uh, we'll get back into it. We'll get back into it. I actually haven't seen him make a tackle yet. He doesn't seem to like making tackles. Man, that's a nice pass. Oh, nice one, Maldini. Going to go into Lena here. Allow Jorginho to take over. Nice. Nice. We brought on Ronaldo as well. A few other players too. And here he goes. Good read. Good. I don't know how he's read that, but good read. Very nice read. Oh, my God. How's he getting away with a ball like that? Yeah, we brought on Hakimi as well. Nice, and Dombele. Got to take a tight. This guy's a counter-attacking demon. Good save. Good save. I moved the keeper there. I just can't with, with people that play like this, guys. I mean, it's my own, my own error, though, you know, so... Don't want to sound like I'm moaning too much. Nice from Lena there. We're actually going to go back into him. Good ball from Georgie. Nice, good strength there too. Never mind. That's got to be a foul, hasn't it? He's done well to get to that there. Wow, guys. Uh, I don't know how that wasn't a foul. Here's Bibu. Bibu. No! Where's that gone? That's gone into Rosie. What on earth is that? Oh. Here goes Georgie. We're going to Tangai here. Tangai! Oh, what a block. Oh, man. This guy is getting away with so much in this game, guys. This is crazy. If this was champs, I'd be absolutely furious. Lena is doing really, really well, actually. Good ball. On to Ronaldo. Or Bibu. Win that, please, Georgie. Nice. Bibu. This guy is the one of the best players I've ever played against, honestly. Thank you very much. Deserved that. He has been riding his luck big time. Um, and yeah, 
Lane, Lane has been really good. His crosses are a bit sus. Is what I'll say. Nice. But him going forward, he's very powerful, very strong. Oh, dear. And his passing isn't the best, uh, as you saw there. His passing is a bit sus. Honestly, my, my first thoughts are this card will be better as a centre-back. His dribbling is really clean, though. His dribbling is very high level. And I like just being able to do this kind of stuff around the box with my fullbacks. Just adds a different element because nobody's expecting it. This guy's pause it. I'll bring you back after the pause ends. All right, guys. Bringing you back now. This guy's made his subs. He's moving his keeper. He's, he's moving my nan, which is crazy to say. Nice, Ronaldo. Into Tangai there. Into Georgie. Back into Tangai. Tangai fancies that. No, he doesn't. Where on earth has that gone? Jesus Christ, this game sometimes, man. I mean, I know I've read it, but... Oh, man, I thought it was getting on the end of that. Let's see what this guy's got in his locker now. He's brought in Berea. Nice. Never mind, not so nice. Tackle it and it goes straight back to him. Has he found that? He fully has as well. Oh, how... What is Noya doing, man? Like, I just can't with this game at the minute. Go on in, Jorginho. I need Lena to overlap, really. Here he goes. He's very quick. Good pass, too. Hakimi. Bibu. Bibu! <gasps> Bibu is awful! He is fully, uh, absolutely abysmal! Do not use that card. He is absolutely tragic. Oh my god, he scored again. What a save, Neuer. Offside, anyway. This is a crazy game of FIFA, guys. I cannot believe Bibu's missed that. And this is what these kind of players are good for as well. They're able to drive through the middle of the park really well. Please, Bibu! Oh my god! This has turned into a Bibu. I don't even know. I can't believe how bad he is, guys. Pen! Nah. I can't show you this game, guys, because I, I'm I'm honestly on, on the verge of losing my head. Oh my days, game. What on earth is this? Alright, let's see if we can go and go and nick it at the end. As I said, I feel like I've been a better player, but. This has been the biggest storm of crap I've ever played. Genuinely. Here he is again. Please, Bibu. Oh, he scored. He's actually scored, guys. I can't believe it. Right, now we're going for it. We're going for it to try and win it. Come on, then. Hello, can somebody please get involved? Hello? Bro. Has he got the new new promo Di Natale? Go on, Elena. Off you go. Oh, yes. Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo scored. That's game over. Yes, yes. We deserve that very much. That is game over, guys. Let's just make sure it is. And uh, I've got a lot of things to say about this laner card, so make sure you stick around to the end. As I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not, not completely sold on him. He's good. Good, good save there. He's very good at overlapping, but let's get into that in the final part of the review anyway. Anyway, that's game over, guys. Very well done in the end. And yeah, that's the end, boys. I'll bring you back at uh, full time. All right, guys. So review done on laner. I'm not sure he's the best in the world. One thing I will give him, though, is he's an absolute powerhouse. He's very, very strong, very fast, and really good at dribbling. But, obviously, we were using him as an attacking fullback. And I would rather use, for example, let me just give you a few examples. Obviously, I've got team of the year, Hakimi, for an example there. But, you know, Lane is obviously a lot cheaper. I'd rather use Di Lorenzo. I think I'd rather use Dest as well. Uh, Damian, I'd probably say I prefer um, Lane I'd rather use Tavernier. 
Um, just a few options there. Klaus is probably as good. Um, but the one thing that really does differentiate this card from a lot of the cards I just showed you is the five-star skills. And if you do use skill moves, I think this card will be a big asset to you. Um, I do a lot, but I've got Di Lorenzo, who is my current right back. And I prefer Di Lorenzo a lot more to this card. Obviously, if you are rocking a Bundesliga team, this is probably your best option. Um, no, in fact, it's definitely your best option. He's good. Not as good as Di Lorenzo. Not as good as Hakimi. Not as good as, you know... I'm just trying to think of players now off the top of my head. Uh, let's have a look at right backs real quick. So, obviously, I said Di Lorenzo is better. Um, I would argue that the icons here are better other than maybe Zanetti and Lam. Um, Cancelo's arguably better, even his headliner. Um, but he is still good, you know. I'd probably play um, Quadrado over him as well, just because he can shoot better. Um, but as I said, this, this guy's a powerhouse. He's very strong, very aggressive, and you can feel that in game. In fact, for a right back, if you're using him going forward, he might be too aggressive. And he's, he's meant to go forward. He's got 82 defending. That's quite low for a right back. Um, and obviously, I said the five-star skills are brilliant. And they are. Um, it's really nice to have that. It's quite unique. But I just don't think he really is going to change your team too much. Um, I think he's probably better suited to a centre-back, even though his defensive stats are quite poor. Um, just put the shadow on him and move him into, right, uh, into centre-back if you can. But yeah, I, th I think, you know... It's an okay price SBC. You know, it's going to come in at like 75k, maybe 80k. But as I said, he's just not going to change your team. Let's go over and rate his stats real quick. Pace, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. He feels very, very fast. Probably due to the fact that he's got a shadow on. Shooting, I'm not going to bother rating. Passing, I'm going to give a 5 out of 10. It's really unfortunate his vision's low. I think this is an important thing to try and improve. But the chemistry sides that really improve the vision will end up, you know, not helping you in other areas really. Um, and you do need a pace upgrade too. So you may may have to look at an engine. But then his defensive stats are a bit low. Um, dribbling is probably the, the best thing i found with him. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 as well. I don't know if it's because when you have a 5-star skiller, their dribbling just feels better on the ball. Because his dribbling stats aren't actually the best. But he felt very good here. Um, defending, I'm going to give a 6 out of 10. He was very poor defensively. Doesn't really make tackles. Which is strange because he's really aggressive. Um, but I thought he was a bit poor here. And physicals, this is going to be a 9 out of 10. This is where he truly does shine. Um, he's really, really good here too, as well as the dribbling. They're the only two good things I can really say, other than the pace, of course. The passing is a big issue. The defending really isn't that good either. But guys, my overall rating for this card, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. He's not average. He's a bit above average, but he's certainly not as good as some of the cards that I did list. You want to get him done, he is quite cheap. But, as I said, he is not the greatest, but he's also not the worst. Definitely is quite a powerful fullback, one of the most powerful on the game. And you can feel that in-game. But I just don't think, it's kind of a sideways upgrade to your team, you know. If you are running a Bundesliga team, though, this is your best right back. Go and get him done. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But guys, it's going to be it from me for now, so take care.